Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in the comments below. And today we're going to be working on a fun subtraction worksheet. I'd like to go over a strategy I called counting back to make this worksheet a little bit easier. Let's review this strategy and then we'll try the worksheet together. For my strategy, we're going to be counting backwards. So for a problem like 7 minus 3, we're going to say the number 7 out loud. I like to touch my chin when I say the number to know that I'm not counting it in my subtraction problem. So let's try it together. 7 minus 3. We're going to say the number 7 out loud, 7, and then we'll count backwards till we get to 3. We'll use our fingers to help us keep track of how many times we're counting and however many fingers we're holding up. Well, that'll be the correct answer. Let's try it together. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Okay, I landed on my number 3. How many fingers am I holding up? 1, 2, 3, 4. So 7 minus 3 equals 4. Let's use this strategy of counting back to answer these questions on this worksheet. Let's read the directions and get started right away. Subtract with the little penguin. Help the little penguin find his path to his mother. Draw a line to connect all the ice flows where the number 6 is the total. Okay, I think we should start where it says start. So our first problem is 13 minus 7. Let's use our counting back strategy again. 13, remember don't count 13, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Okay, I landed on my target number of 7. Am I holding up 6 fingers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I am. So this is a great place to start. Where are we going to move from here? I say we try all the numbers that are connected to this to see if 6 is the total. If it is, we'll draw a line. And if it's not, we'll know we have to try something else. So let's try 10 minus 4. Counting backwards again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Do I have up 6 fingers? Yes, I do. So let's draw a line from 13 minus 7 to 10 minus 4. Good start. So now from 10 minus 4, I have two choices. I can draw a line to 12 minus 6 or I can draw a line to 16 minus 8. Let's try 12 minus 6 first. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I landed on 6 and I have 6 fingers up. Counting backwards is a good strategy to make the subtraction go a lot faster. So let's draw a line from 10 minus 4 to 12 minus 6. Again, I have two choices. I can draw a line to 16 minus 10 or 17 minus 5. Let's try 17 minus 5 since we're working horizontally. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Already I see that I have way more than 6 fingers up. I don't think that 17 minus 5 is the right answer. Let's try 16 minus 10. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Six fingers up. This must be the correct answer. Let's draw a line to 16 minus 10. Now for this problem, I have three different choices. I can draw a line to 16 minus 8, but I already know that's not the right answer because I tried that for another problem. So I'm left with 12 minus 4 or 19 minus 13. Let's try 19 minus 13. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. Does 19 minus 13 equal 6? I think so. I have six fingers up. Let's draw a line to 19 minus 13. Another place where I have three choices. I can draw a line to 11 minus 5, a line to 14 minus 7, or a line to 16 minus 9. Which one do you think? is going to be equal to 6. Well, I know 16 minus 9 probably isn't the right answer. It's going to have too big of a difference. What about 11 minus 5? Let's try that one. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Okay, I got to 5 and I have 6 fingers up. 
11 minus 5 is definitely 6. So let's draw a line to 11 minus 5. Again, I have quite a few choices here. Can you do 13 minus 3 in your head? Because if you can, you would know that 13 minus 3 is just 10. Because 3 minus 3 is 0. So I don't think 13 minus 3 is the right answer. Let's try 17 minus 11. It's counting backwards again. This is a skill that really tests your number fluency to see if you can count backwards really well. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Six fingers up. 17 minus 11 is six. Nice job. So again, we have a few choices. We can draw to four, we can draw a line to 14 minus nine, or we could draw a line to 16 minus nine, or we could draw a line to 15 minus nine. Which one do you think is gonna equal six? Well, I think 14 minus nine, well, that's not gonna be enough. Those numbers are too close together. 16 minus nine, we already know those two numbers are too far away. So let's try 15 minus nine. Let's count backwards from 15 to 9. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Six fingers again. Excellent job. Let's draw a line to 15 minus 9 because 15 minus 9 equals 6. Now there's only one more place to draw a line to. So let's check our work just to be sure. Let's count backwards from 14 to 8. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 6 fingers. We've now drawn a line to all the subtraction questions that have a difference of 6. Great job using the counting back strategy, boys and girls. Remember when you're subtracting, for example, like 7 minus 3 in our example, say the number, but don't count it. Touch your chin just to make sure. 7, and then count backwards to the other number using your fingers to help. Seven, six, five, four, three. Count the fingers. One, two, three, four. Seven minus three is four. Great job, boys and girls, using the counting back strategy with the penguin. We'll see you next time. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.